the wastegate on this car is hooked straight up to the turbo. I don't have a boost controller. And now I think it's time to install one. That is rich as fuck. Okay. Let's fit it up now. On there. All right. Let's put this bitch on. It goes from the turbo to a T. And then this T, one goes to the bottom side of the wastegate. This one goes to number one on the boost solenoid. And then number two goes to the top of the diaphragm on the wastegate. So this is the Innovate 4-bar map sensor. It calls for the barb to be facing down. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to install some double-sided tape and place it on the shock tower. I'm not going to drill into this. Okay, that didn't work. All right, so I deleted my vacuum block, this fucking giant piece of shit that I had sitting here. Um, now my boost reference in the intake manifold just tees off with PVC piping into the fuel pressure regulator and the new 4-bar map sensor. So I bought an LS throttle body adapter flange. It's aluminum, and this is aluminum. I should also cut the idle air control valve thing off. I think I'm just going to cut that and seal it, like, weld it shut, so... Yeah, here we go! and tools. I got out prematurely and Cody almost just fucking ran over my phone. Did you know they do this? Do what? Yeah, you didn't know that? Yeah, and then you hold the lock and it does the opposite. It's also supposed to open the sunroof. Oh, I've never gotten it to uh, roll up. Oh. Let's see if it starts. Oof. Oof. That's a bad noise. Yeah. What? Is we'll end up in the same fate that we did on the purple one. What do you mean? You'll wash the motherfucker. The first cylinder? Mm. I don't recall it being the first cylinder. Oh no, it was there you cylinder go. 11 on the purple one, but... Oh, fuck me. Nice. Damn, that bitch was full! Whoa. Oh, Dude, man. Do it again to make sure. yeah, no. Smells like gas. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Dude, it is covered in water now. Everywhere. Okay. Well, it's hurt. That is hurt. <laughs> Bent a rod. Bent a rod. Bent a rod. Um, that there's you. It's hurt. Pretty much. You know how there's a piston and there's a connecting arm on it. So yeah. when there's water up there, you can't compress water, right? Yeah. So what happens is the engine has so much fucking force behind it because of all the other pistons and everything else rotating that it fucking slams up into that water mm. and the connecting rod can't go anywhere, so it just bends. And then now because it's bent, now it's fucking hitting shit. Drive it home. Uh, I don't want to drive it home. You don't want to drive it home? Drive it out there and then get towed. <laughs> Is that something you fix? You can. Put a new rod then. Uh, yeah, but now that we've... Take apart the whole engine. Depending on how much sand got in it, now we're probably going to have to refresh the block too. That's easy. 
if this thing's actually healthy, we don't know. It's working. This thing's still putting in work, even if it's, you know, been murdered. It's all right. Lost a couple brain cells. Whoa, whoa, fucking hell. <laughs> oh man, I gotta get this on Snapchat too. This bitch hurt and that guy is shirtless, but we are fucking going still. God damn. Oh man. Jesus Christ! <laughs> <laughs> this wasn't the right path. I was supposed to take that path. Yeah. Well, it still made it. Damn. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, my God. What is going on? Holy <laughs> shit, Brian. <laughs> it shouldn't be riding that rough. I wanted to, like, tear it out. Oh, man. Oh, man. That sounds rough. <laughs> 